Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my hauls. So this order was from September, and I really got it this month, which is February. And now I am unboxing it at the end of February. This video is definitely coming out in March. I'm just letting you guys know the timing. So the postcard you see right now is the same one as one of my previous videos. It's the same comical postcard that Ami Ami gave out with orders in September 2021. Aside from that, the first item I got was this Trafalgar Law One Piece enamel charm. I just got it because I love law. I'm trying to increase my law collection. This is how the back looks. It's officially licensed like all the items Ami Ami has on its website. I love law. The next item I got was this cute Wooloo plush. It's so soft and squishy. Ami Ami does have some nice Pokemon plushes and Wooloo is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon designs from Sword and Shield, even though I don't like Sword and Shield. So cute, look at its little cute heart-shaped nose and its cute little goat eyes and its little side hairs and ears. And the material is very cotton-like, which is to be expected since we'll lose the sheep and its little stubbies. Little brown tail. It comes with the tag that says Pocket Monsters Wooloo on it. It's just the big, soft, cuddly buddy. Wooloo is definitely one of the cutest Pokemon creations ever. So I only got three items in this September Ami Ami box. And the one I'm most excited to show is this amazing Cynthia and Garchomp figure. And may I say that the box is really big. I'm so excited to open this one. Cynthia's Japanese name is Shirona and Garchomp's name is Gaburias. I learned something new. When I said the box was big, I meant the box was big. It pretty much takes up all the space of this little clear table that I use. It's beautiful! Let's unbox them! All the figure pieces are well protected, so that's good to know. So this is how the inside of the box looks. It just has a Pokeball pattern with Garchomp. And Garchomp looks so cool, even wrapped in plastic. This is how Sissy and Garchomp both look together. I am so surprised at how detailed high quality and beautiful it is. And for the price I paid for it, this was really worth getting. Especially if you're a Cynthia Sim, then this figure will make your collection look great. When I moved Garchomp out of its packaging, I was so surprised at the size. Like, Garchomp by itself could have been its own figure because that's how amazing it looks. Let's take a look at Garchomp first. Like, the details in Garchomp's face and body, its entire existence is so amazing. I'm just like, what? How could this be real? Even the base is cool. And may I say that Garchomp, it's a big Pokemon. It really is so cool. I don't even think it's gonna fit on my figure rotation display to be honest. It'll definitely be popping out, that's for sure. I'm so happy with this. I haven't even taken a look at the goddess Cynthia. Let's take a look at Cynthia, shall we? Okay guys, but Cynthia is literally a queen. Like, dang, she looks so good. They didn't have to make her this hot, but they did. I love the flow of her hair. And it's nice to know that her base is not plain. This lady right here, yeah, she's a queen. Do not disrespect the queen. I'm really happy with this purchase, guys. She looks amazing. So this is an awesome figure. I have nothing more to say about it. I mean, it's perfect. She will crush you. Why do amazing figures keep coming out? It really does hurt the wallet. And when you put them side by side like this, they really stand out. All right guys, I also had these Pokemon Center items that I had never unboxed. So I figured I might as well add it to this video and make it a Pokemon unboxing. Minus that law charm that I showed. But anyways, as you can see, I have the Ann and Zorio figure, and I also got these cute Pikachu Eevees in their trainer outfits to celebrate the 25th anniversary that happened last year. I got the Diamond and Pearl Pikachus, and I also got the Harkled Soul Silver Pikachus with Ethan and Lyra's clothes on. These are so cute. These two games are two of my favorite Pokemon games. I had to be careful not to get all of them because 
they do cost $25 each. So I sadly could not overspend on these Pikachus. I really love the Lucas and Dawn one a lot because I love Diamond and Pearl. It's my favorite gen. Oh, Pikachu's holding little Dawn's bag and the little scarves and hats and everything. And then I have Ethan and Lyra in their cute little uniforms. In their heart gold and soul silver uniforms to be exact. Little Ethan's bag and Lyra's bag. The bags are really cute. And so here I have the Anne and Zoroa figure that I've been meaning to unbox for a few months already. But I just never got the chance to. Japan was lucky because if they pre-ordered from the Pokemon Center there, they were able to get a free Enenzaro postcard of this illustration. But the US Pokemon website did not have that option. But that's okay. I could always cut it out or something. Because I'll probably throw this box away. I love this figure. Not only because it just comes as is and I don't have to put anything together. It's really, really good. And you really can't go wrong with N. Two of my favorite Pokemon characters in one video. I'm totally feeding myself today. And it looks so great. And Zorua is so cute. Just taking a nap right next to him. I like how N's pose is relaxed. It's a really cool figure. I totally forgot to mention that this is another figure that Kotobukiya produced. So, you know, that's why it's so good. So two Kotobukiya figures in one video. And his little face is so detailed, he's just sitting on a stump. Like, the Pokemon trainer designs are great, but the Pokemon designs themselves, especially the ones that they've been coming out with these past few years, are really lagging, guys. Except that Wooloo. Wooloo is cute. Aren't you, Wooloo? Aren't you? The details of his face are so great. He looks so good. Freaking Kotobukiya really coming out with these cool figures. You guys gotta stop doing this and taking my money. So yeah, everyone, thanks so much for sticking around for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye! Doink!